In this lesson, we're going to review the concept of absolute value. Let's go ahead and fill in the blanks here. Let's talk about the definition. Absolute value means the distance from zero on a number line. That means the answer to absolute value is always positive. Let's take a look at this example here. What is the absolute value of negative 3.5? You see that we're given a number line here. So it says draw an arrow from negative 3.5 to zero. So here's our negative 3.5. I'm gonna draw myself a little dot right here. And I'm gonna draw a little arrow going up to zero. The question we wanna ask ourselves is, how many spaces away from zero is negative 3.5. And you can see that the distance is going to be 3.5. Remember that distances are always going to be positive. So no matter which direction your arrow is facing, absolute value, no matter what, is um, going to be positive. You can also see that absolute value is represented by these little bars right here. So anytime you have a number that's inside the bars, that just means it's asking you for the absolute value. So a couple other examples of that might look like this. So if you have something like the absolute value of, um, let's just say 4.2. Notice that we have, this time we have a positive number inside the absolute value. Remember that your answer is always going to be positive. So the absolute value of 4.2 is still going to be 4.2. Now, what if I were to say negative eight? The absolute value of negative eight, well, negative eight stands eight spaces away from zero. Therefore, our absolute value is going to be eight. All right, now let's go ahead and just talk a little bit about word problems. Over here on the right, it says, draw a number line to represent the problem. That's always what you want to do first whenever you have a problem, a word problem with absolute value. Then what we want to do is count how far away the numbers are from each other. Let's take a look at an example. In a city, the temperature increases from negative three degrees Fahrenheit to 10 degrees Fahrenheit. How many degrees did the temperature increase? So we're looking for the distance between negative three and 10 on a number line. So if we look over here, the first thing we're gonna do is draw a number line. So you can see that I have a vertical number line here over on the right. I can also represent this by a horizontal number line if I choose. So my negative three is going to be about right here. And I see that uh, 10 is also on my number line. So I wanna know what the distance is between these two numbers. So all I really need to do is count the spaces. Now you need to be careful because on this specific number line, it goes by twos. So you can see that if I start at 10 and go to eight, it's dropping by two degrees. So how many spaces away am I? Let's go ahead and start down here at negative three. If I go from negative three to negative two, that's gonna take me up one space. If I go from negative two to zero, that's gonna take me two spaces. So that's three spaces. And then five, seven, 10, 12, and then 13, 13 spaces. So you can see that the, the distance between these two points is going to be 13. Okay, and that is just a little review on absolute value. Just remember, no matter what, it's always positive.